Hello and welcome. In this video, we break down Gold Core's second quarter earnings report. Let's start with production. For the first quarter of 2014, Gold Core produced 658,000 ounces of gold versus about 583,000 in the first quarter of 2013 for an increase of about 75,000 ounces. Looking at silver, Gold Core produced about 9.5 million ounces the first quarter of 2014 versus only about 5.6 million the first quarter of 2013 for an increase of almost 4 million ounces of silver. Looking at the second quarter, for the second quarter of 2014, Gold Core produced about 650,000 ounces of gold versus about 625,000 ounces in 2013 for an increase of about 25,000 ounces. And for the second quarter, Gold Core produced about 9 million ounces of silver versus about 7.2 million the second quarter of 2013 for an increase of about 1.8 million ounces of silver. So in the first half of 2014, Gold Core has produced about 100,000 more ounces of gold and about 5.7 million more ounces of silver than the first half of 2013. Looking forward, we can see that Gold Core plans on continuing to expand and within two years should be 50% bigger than just last year. Now let's look at costs. Total cash costs using the byproduct method were $470 in the second quarter of 2014 versus $636 in the second quarter of 2013. So that's about a 25% reduction. Total cash costs using the co-product method. The co-product method means if 60% of their income comes from gold, then they charge 60% of all costs to gold, which is how I do my cash costs when I break down costs. Total cash costs in the second quarter of 2014 was $643 versus $702 in the second quarter of 2013. All in sustaining costs, which means depreciations included, in other words, all the equipment and building costs and stuff like that, was $852 versus $1,205 in the second quarter of 2013. So that's a huge reduction in costs. Looking at six months worth of revenue, for the first half of 2014, Gold Core grossed $1.8 billion versus $1.822 billion in the first half of 2013. The production costs, equipment costs, and depletion costs was $1.355 billion versus $1.305 billion in the first half of 2013. So the earnings from mine operations was $449 million versus $517 million for the first half of 2013. Gold Core spent a little less on exploration, $17 million versus $25 million in the first half of 2013. And they earned a little bit more from associate interest in other mining. They earned $116 million versus $54 million in the first half of 2013. But probably the main factor is this impairment charge they occurred the first half of 2013 of $2.558 billion that they did not occur the first half of 2014. Administration costs were about the same. So for the first half of 2014, Gold Core grossed $423 million versus a loss of $2.1 billion the first half of 2013. After factoring in finance costs and derivatives, their earnings before taxes were $400 million versus a loss of $2.1 billion and their net earnings was $281 million versus a loss of $1.6 billion. So that's Gold Core's second quarter earnings report. Gold Core has increased production, reduced costs, and maintained profitability. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.